welcome back to another video if you're just joining me now my name is kitty i'm 14 years old and this is my channel so today i'm doing day four of my 12 days of christmas and today's video is sort of a gift guide slash wish list sort of present ideas that you can ask for or get for your friends or like ideas i guess i'll probably say that this video is more for girly girls in a way or well, yeah but <laughs> yeah um without further ado let's just get into the video okay so i am now back and i just have a messy ponytail yeah not looking great but anyway don't really care first of all i'm going to start off with things that i have asked for and then i'm going to go on to things that like you could ask for so this year i haven't really asked for that much if i'm honest i know quite a few of my presents which sounds bad but like if I've been out shopping with my mum and dad and I've seen something I like then my mum and dad have just bought it for me and put it away for Christmas because they wouldn't be able to like go back and get it as a surprise if you know what I mean but I'm not mad about that because like the things I've got like I wanted but yeah mainly I've sort of asked for clothes just bits and bobs um I have asked for some Mario Badescu, I think it was Mario Badescu, I think that's how you say it, um, like skincare set I've seen that I quite like, I've um, already got the drying lotion and I really like that, um, then I've asked for some Hollister um, Jilly Hicks style sort of bralettes, um, I've also asked for a rock salt lamp, um, I've asked for some pyjamas and a dressing gown, and like my mum like already sort of knows like what I like and makeup and bits and bobs so I haven't necessarily got a list of things down but I know whatever I get will be good so <laughs> I haven't actually got a list but yeah so they're sort of like the rough things I've asked for something else I would also really like are airpod pros now I know they're really expensive and I'm not sure but I would really like them and they are on my list but we'll just see and maybe if like I don't give them for Christmas I've always got maybe some money that I can save up for to buy them myself. So next thing is things that you could ask for. So I always think phone cases are quite a good thing to ask for because I don't think you necessarily always get phone cases for yourself but they're just a cute present if you know your friends what phone they've got you can either like um, online like places you can get like their name on them which is always really cute so I think phone cases are a really good idea next I've got makeup brushes down because yeah again I always feel like I'd never buy makeup brushes myself I always get them for like my birthday or Christmas so I always think makeup brushes are quite a good one like obviously if the person's into that um, next is makeup brush cleaner. I'm sure you've all seen this. It's like a fish bowl and then it comes in this like spinny thing and you put your brush into it and like it cleans it. I've seen them loads of times and they seem really really good so I would definitely put that down and I think if I've got any money from Christmas I definitely want to buy one. Next thing is like I said clothes. If you've got like a favourite website, pretty little thing, anything like that, just like screenshot that pieces of clothing you like so you can show your parents just so they have a rough idea of what to get you because if there's stuff you want yeah that's what I sometimes do I like screenshot things on my phone and then like I'll send them to my mum so she knows and um, next thing is a new phone obviously I don't want a new phone because mine's like pretty new but it's quite a big thing to ask for but if you know that's like one of the only things you really want you can always ask for a new phone next thing i've got on my list is like hair curlers straighteners i always feel like that's a really good gift also there's i don't know what like headbands i've really wanted one for ages they're like everyone's been running recently like headbands like go here and <laughs> i'm so bad at explaining like some have like a gold ring and then others don't and it's like a headband i think they look so cute i really want to get one um, next is trainers because obviously trainers are quite expensive depending on what ones you get like if you just want like non-branded ones and they're not expensive but sometimes like Nike ones can go up to like over £100, 150 so they're definitely something to keep in mind for Christmas. I always think they're something you wouldn't necessarily buy yourself but they're a bit more expensive so you can always ask for them for Christmas. Another thing is makeup if you're into that or if there's a new palette out that you really like say 
if you're really into like um Shane Dawson and Jeffree Stars star stars star like maybe the new palette you could ask for also if you're a beginner to makeup i would stick more well it's completely up to you but more on the drugstore side because you can get a lot more for your money and experiment and then once you know what you like then you can go on to spending like more money on good palettes also a brand i would really recommend is morphe because i feel like their palettes are so affordable but they're really really good but yeah the brand morphe is really good if you want some eyeshadow palettes the big ones the next is jewelry so maybe something you'd like a ring or some earrings for pandora i always feel like they're a really good thing to ask for for christmas right this next thing a phone charger if you buy someone a phone charger they will love you forever we all know these things break and snap and stop working phone chargers are the one someone's heart <laughs> um another thing is perfume because some perfume can be you get cheap ones but some if there's something you really like that are really expensive they're a good thing to ask for for christmas also body sprays like um hollister do really nice body sprays i've got loads of hollister sprays and they're like some of my favorites um victoria's secrets do them obviously that body spray is a really good thing to buy people and another good thing to ask for is stationery so obviously there's been um like loads of girls have the pastel highlighters um or there's these new things that i've just recently seen they're called midliners i'm pretty sure that's what they're called and i think they're like chinese or japanese stationery brand but they're like so aesthetic and loads of people who do bullet journals use them so yeah which fits in nice with my next one is a bullet journal because obviously Christmas is coming to the end of the year and if you know someone loves being creative and doing art and being organised I feel like a bullet journal is such a good gift that could get them into a new hobby so I would definitely recommend that also if you play an instrument maybe if you want some new like I don't know like I don't know, need new strings for a guitar or some new picks or even like a new whole instrument that a good thing to ask for another thing you could ask for is fake tan i don't really i'm not really like a fake tan person that much but i know a lot of girls do fake tan and some of the good ones can be expensive i know bondi sands is good and that's like around near like 15 20 pounds mark which you might not necessarily want to buy yourself so you could always ask for that for christmas you could ask for maybe be like a new rucksack from don't know vans or the Kankan ones the Kankan ones are really expensive but yeah vans do some nice ones or if the person isn't necessarily into rucksacks maybe a new handbag primark do some really really good affordable handbags so yeah and obviously i said i was asking for some mary badescu skincare i mean it's not like super expensive but it's not the cheapest but i know um like revolution have recently like bought i think it's revolution pro or something have bought out some new skincare bits which look really nice and jake jamie also did a collab with the face masks and they were the uh, melon watermelon avocado ones they look so nice something else that you could get someone is also a calendar for christmas because obviously it's coming to the end of the year so you're going to need a calendar if you know they use one also you've probably seen these going around um the led color changing lights if you're on tiktok you'd probably know a lot of people have been sticking them around the edges of their walls in their bedroom so led lights are quite a cool thing you could get for someone and they're not super expensive either so it's quite good why do i keep doing a thumbs up <laughs> I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. I sort of feel like it was a bit rubbish, but <laughs> 12 days of Christmas is hard because I never usually upload this much. So trying to get good content out in a short space is quite hard. But yeah, I really hope you did enjoy this video. If there's anything I've forgotten, make sure you comment it down below so for maybe other people, if they look in the comments, they can get that idea. But yeah please make sure to like this video subscribe down below and comment any future videos you might have and join me back here for my day five of my 12 days of christmas bye